Welcome to my next video on repeat sentence. So repeat sentence is the second section in PD speaking. So today we'll be talking about repeat sentence, which is a second section of speaking, as I've already said. Um, so in my previous video, we talked about read aloud and how to get good point for pronunciation content and fluency in read aloud. Um, today we'll be talking about repeat, repeat sentence and I'll start um, with the marking criteria for repeat sentence. In repeat sentence, the marking criteria is divided into three sections, pronunciation, fluency, and content. Pronunciation has five points. You'll get five points if you get all the words that you say with good pronunciation. If you have good fluency, you'll get five points for fluency and content. There are three points for content. That's a bit tricky. Unlike read aloud where content had five points, in repeat sentence, there is three points for content. And the three points are divided into three sections like this here. So if you if you get 25% of the content right, you'll get one point. If you get 50% of the content right, you'll get two points. If you get 100% of the content right, you'll get three out of three points. We're talking about three out of three, right? So if you get more than 25 to less than 50, one point. If you get more than 50 to less than 100, two points. If you get 100 out of 100, you get three points. Getting 100 out of 100 means getting all the words right with correct pronunciation. That means if there are 13 words in the sentence, you got all 13 words right with correct pronunciation, you'll get 100. You'll get three out of three you'll get um, more than 85. But if you can't get 100% of the content, if you, even if you get 99% of the content or you get 51% of the content, you'll get the same point, that's two point. So why aim for 90% of the content when you can get three points? So when you can get the same point by achieving, by achieving more than 50% of the content, which is around 55 or 60%, that's the ideal. So I, I will, um, I normally encourage people to try to get at least 60% so that you are on the safe side. Maybe if you got one word wrong, as if you, if you pronounced one word wrong, you still have few words to cover up your 50%. So that's why target for 60%. Do not try to aim for 100% of the content because that's way too difficult. Even if you remember all 13 words, it might be difficult to pronounce all 13 words correctly. You still lose point for pronunciation. It's better to not say the word than to say it wrong. If you say it wrong, you lose point for pronunciation. If you don't say it at all, you'll just lose a few points for content. And it's not much. See, the content has only three points, but pronunciation has five points. So don't don't lose any point for pronunciation. If you if the word that you speak exists in English dictionary, you will get full point for pronunciation. If the word that you say was in the text, was in the sentence, was in the recording, you will get point for content. If you are fluent, do not try to speak very fast. Do not try to speak very slow. Just be at your normal speed, but you have to be loud and clear. The word that he speaks will be loud and clear. There shouldn't be any pause or hesitation. Then you'll get good point for fluency. All right, so as I've already said, our target is to get more than 50%, also 60% on average. 25%, if you get less than 25% of the content, you'll get zero. So 25% is the benchmark to get a marking. If you want few, like a little marking, you have to get at least 25% of the content. If you get less than 25, suppose, for example, you get 21% of the content, you get zero. Even if you are good, if you are good at fluency, you are good at pronunciation, you will still get zero. Overall marking is zero. So 25% is the benchmark. Just remember that. And so today, um, so we'll be doing a few repeat sentence. Um, all right. So the marking, there is a very interesting thing for marking in repeat sentence. If you see here, it says this question carries marks by speaking 35% and listening 20%. Repeat sentence is the section from speaking that gives you highest point for speaking. Highest point for speaking is repeat sentence, is from repeat sentence, 35%. None of the other section will give you 35% for speaking. It's only repeat sentence. That's why it's very important. And it's difficult because you have to memorize the sentence. The computer will play a recording. You have to you have to hear the recording. You have to memorize it, and you have to say it exactly the computer said. It. So it's difficult. There are no tricks. There are no tips. But there are a few things that you need to consider. And on top of thirty five percent for speaking, it gives us twenty percent for listening as well. So that's a bonus, right? You are doing a question from a speaking section. You are getting twenty percent for listening. So even if you um, do some mistakes in listening section, you can cover up a few few points from this question because you're getting 20% for listening. See, that's a good deal. So I like repeat sentence. Um, so let's try a few repeat sentences. And uh, as I've already said, we have to target for at least 50% of the content to get more than, um, um, to get more, more marks. Um, so how to get 50% of the content is a big challenge. It's a, it's a big challenge. It's actually a big challenge because um, you'll hear a recording. You have to memorize that and you have to speak 
um, the recording as exactly as the computer said it. Um, um, so it's actually difficult. So don't try to memorize all the words. Try to memorize first four word and last four word. Normally the sentence is around nine to 14 words long. Nine, if you are lucky, you'll get a sentence of nine to 10 words. If you are unlucky, you'll get a sentence of 13 to 14 words or 15 words. Or if you are very unlucky, it's, it's, it's like one out of thousand times chance to get a sentence of 15 to 16 words. You still get a sentence of 15 words. That's a, little, a bit difficult, but then we have to follow the same pattern. We have to follow the same technique and which is to remember the first four word and last four word so that it is in a pattern. It sounds like it is in a pattern. Don't try to say the last word in the beginning and the first word at the end because that's interchanging the pattern. You don't want to interchange the pattern because the computer will be fooled. So the computer will be surprised. But what is this guy saying? If you say the first few words and last few words, then it sounds like you are saying it in a pattern, yeah? So, and you have to say that in one breath. Do not take any pause, do not take um, any breath. Even if you think that there is a comma, don't take any breath, don't take any pause. And you have to start speaking as soon as you see the blue line, blue line starts to move. So be because in repeat sentence, there is no beep sound, unlike read aloud, in read aloud, there was a beep sound so that you could start speaking as soon as you hear the beep sound. But here in represents there is no beep sound. So you have to start speaking as soon as you see the blue line that it starts to move. You see a blue line that it starts to move. And um, there will be three seconds before you before the computer will start uh, playing the recording. And then once you hear the recording, once, once the recording is done, there will be less than two seconds time when your recording starts. After at least minimum of two seconds, the blue line starts to move. And then you have to act fast. You have to start speaking. And then as soon as you finish speaking, press next. As soon as you finish speaking, press next. Do not hesitate. Do not hesitate at all. At all. all right, um, so um, we'll do this question. Not this question. We'll do the next question. Um, and uh, what else um, have I forgot to uh, say? All right, that's all. That's all for now. Just we'll try one question. We'll try, we'll try next. Try to remember the first forward and last forward. Yeah? Do not write initials. The books are filled the with books drawings filled of with machines drawings. invented when he was a student. Yeah. The books are filled with drawing when he was a student. All right, I said the books are filled with drawings when he was a student. Drawings, I said, but I got it wrong. Uh, let's see our, how our marking was. I got 81% in pronunciation, which is good. I got 90 out of 90 in fluency, which is the best. We can't get more than 90 for fluency. I got 71% in content, which is more than 50%, so I'm fine. And I got overall score of 87, which is a desired score. I got H-band 8, so I don't have to worry about anything for this question. If you get more than 85, more than 85 in this question, good, because you are getting 35% for speaking and 20% for listening. So the trick here is that, as I've already said, try to remember the first four word and last four word. If you can remember more words, try to remember more words. See, all right, so let's count how many words this sentence had. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this sentence has the 14 words, which is um, which is an average sentence. You will get you will get some sentence that that looks like this. Um, don't try to memorize all all the words. Try to memorize at least the first four word and last four word and say it fluently. Say it fluently. So if you click this button here, it says your answer. You can um, you can see, you can listen to your own recording. The books are filled with drawing when he was a student. Oh, it was drawings. I said drawing. The books are filled with drawing when he was a student. That's why I got it wrong. I said I've said it drawings, then I would have got 90 out of 19 pronunciation. See, you don't have if you if you want to get 90 out of 19 pronunciation, whatever you speak, whatever the word that you say, it has to be correct. If you say all the words correct, then you will get point for pronunciation. I said drawing, drawing exists in English dictionary, but I said the I said drawing, but it was drawings here. That's why I lost point for pronunciation and content both. If you lose uh, one point for content, suppose for example, I lost the point for content for drawings. When I said drawing, I'll lose point for pronunciation as well. That's the that's the tricky part here. So content and pronunciation are slightly interlinked, um, but yeah, that, that is how it is. Um, and yet always try to get more than 80% in fluency and 60% in pronunciation, 60% in content. More than 50% in content, but to be on safe side, I will say 60%, sure. In overall PD, overall speaking, the our main target in overall speaking, our main target is more than 80% in fluency, more than 60% in pronunciation, and more than 60% in content. That way we can get more than 17 and plus. We'll get more than 80 in overall. All right. So um, that's all for repeat sentence. Try to practice at least 300 questions in total from representatives before you do the examination. What I used to do is I used to do 50 questions each day. 
for, I, I did that for seven days. Um, so I did 50 questions every day for, se for, for seven days for repeat sentence. That's how I got 90 out of 90 in speaking. And you have to follow the same pattern because this question carries the highest mark for speaking and it, it gives you bonus mark for listening. You have to practice this question more. Read aloud, if you are getting low point in fluency, you have to go back to read aloud to fix your fluency. If you are getting low point in pronunciation, find out which word you are saying it wrong. Find out which word you are saying it wrong. So the words that are red in color, either you said it wrong or you didn't uh, You didn't even say that at all. So if you said that word, but you, the computer says it's wrong, then try to find out what's the correct pronunciation for that word. For that, go to youtube.com and then type how to pronounce this word and then the, there are short videos in youtube which will tell you the right pronunciation for that word and then list, listen to that word what the computer what the what the youtube says and then try to speak it in your pattern that way you can get, you can improve your pronunciation and for content practice more if you want to get more than 60 percent of the content practice 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 is the key right? practice is the key no one is perfect you don't have to be perfect you don't have to get 100 percent in content you don't have to get 90 out of 90 in fluency you don't have to get 90 out of 90 in pronunciation try to get 60 percent in pronunciation more than 80 percent fluency and more than 60 percent in content you will get more than 80. all right um let's do that much for today and i'll leave, leave it that to you if you have any questions comment below um or you can email me and then if you want to practice this website, um, I'll put the link for this website in the description for this um, video. Um, yeah, that's all for now and keep practicing. And thank you very much for coming to watch my video. See you.